where it leader chucks systems. Once again, they've secured sole distribution rights for a work holding product. This time it's Hewer indexing chucks. <laughs> Mark, the Hewer indexing chuck. Can you tell me more about the product, please? Yes, I can, certainly. Um, they're a range of two-jaw self-centering indexing chucks. They come in two variants, um, a standard. That will be a manual clamp and a manual index, okay. and also a power clamp and a manual index. There is a third variant, too, uh, which is fully automatic. OK, so what would I use this for? Okay, um, where you have certain types of components where perhaps you're wanting ma to machine all four faces, um, with this system you will clamp it and you can machine all the four faces in one chucking operation. Uh, so rather than being four ops, taking it, reloading it, reloading it, reloading it. You got it, yeah. Four yeah. ops in one go. Oh. Yeah, I'll show you. I've got a component here that we can uh, tighten up on and show you. So if we, if we hold that component in the chuck, we can be machining on this face now. After we finish that, we can just rotate it through 90 degrees and we're ready to go on, up on side two. On side three. On side four. And now we, we, we take it out the chuck. Job done. So very simple to operate, manual or power. Yeah. Yeah, if if uh, if we weren't using a key, we it would activate like a regular power chuck on the, on the on the existing drawbar. Great. Okay, then. So, what sort of machines will this fit onto? Uh, we can fit it onto manual lathes, CNC lathes, okay. and retrofit. Yeah, most of our sales are actually retrofitted. Uh, this the bo both of the um, ver standard versions uh, fit onto regular spindle noses, A type spindle noses. Okay, so. You've got the billet there, but what sort of components would you actually be manufacturing? Yeah, this is, you know, just for an example, but where most of our customers use these, they're, they're manufacturing things like elbows, T's, uh, valves, gate valves, couplings, uh, things where, where you've got Y's as well. So, you know, they don't have to be 4 by 90 Could be uh, 3 by 120 Could even be different t uh, uh, unequal graduations. Got you. So you said those sort of example components. What sort of industries would that cover? Well, I guess most of those are going to be oil, oil and gas, plumbing type parts, you know, parts that are manufactured for, for coupling two things together, three or four things together. Got you. So this, you know, taking it from four ops down to one up, return on investment? Well, that would depend on the work base, of course, um, because it, that would depend on how, how much you, you, you're outlaying. But I can tell you this, it's going to be quick.